everybody! Welcome to Beauty Broadcast Express. Today I bring you um, kind of a little blast from the past made new again. Jane Cosmetics is back in stores. It's back in Ulta and um, you can also check it out on Ulta's website and I've got quite a few different products that I'm trying and this is one of the first that I'm reviewing now and this is the multicolored cheek powder. I have it in Berry Bouquet and I believe this one, it doesn't have the label on the back but this is the Peach Bouquet. Now, I believe there is one other color option as well that I don't have, but if you look closely here at the packaging, you can see um, there's kind of a floral imprint on these, and each one has sort of their main color uh, in the largest chunk of the blush palette. If you really want a saturated blush color, um, you can mainly go for that shade, but if you want to um, water it down, so to speak, you can go to some of the lighter shades on the side. As a whole, I find that the berry one is more intense. So you're going to get a little bit brighter look on the cheeks with this all around, but um, the peach one seems to offer maybe a little more versatility because um, part of this blush is so much lighter than the main shade, so this can practically be like a highlight, and that's the way I'm wearing it today. I am Wearing this one and I concentrated on this shade for like really on the apples of my cheeks and then I was able to use some of the lighter color you know a little bit higher on my cheek so for a real concentrated swatch here on my fingers there is you know that primary uh, kind of salmon-y shade, and then on this finger right here, I could hardly s tell what was on there, is um, the lighter peach shade. And if you were to swirl it all together, you've got a look that's kind of like this, so a softer um, kind of peachy pink color. And I did shoot a little video when I was applying this berry one, so you could see how that looks on the cheeks as well. Um, as you can see, there's less difference when I go to this shade and then to the outer outer colors. It's all pretty intense. But another thing you'll notice about these is that they are matte. So if you're looking for a good pigmented matte blush, this might be something to uh, check into as well. The thing is, is that, you know, Jane is kind of a drugstore price range brand, and these are going to cost you $12. And I do feel like there are a lot of good low-cost um, blushes out there. I think about Jordana and NYX, even the e.l.f. Studio blushes, the Flower Beauty um, blush bronzer duos, you know, some really nice, rich, richly pigmented, um, inexpensive blushes out there. So I do think the price is a little high for these. But I think the upside to these is that they are matte and that's good for people who don't want a blush that's going to, you know, pop on their cheeks and then instantly accentuate pores, fine lines, things like that. Um, there's nice color payoff and you can potentially get more than one look with these. So more reviews on Jane products to come. I just wanted to give you a little info on these. You know, I think if you try them, you won't be disappointed by them. Them, but if you've tried a lot of blushes, you may find some other things that are lower cost that definitely match up to these quality wise. So thank you so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.